Hi, this is Mike with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we're going to take you inside a lesson with a really good player, Brian. We're going to talk a lot about the right arm structure and how that's going to help Brian not only connect his backswing, but set the path for the least amount of manipulation down to the golf ball. We're also going to talk about a couple other drills that are really going to help create connection not only through the backswing, but also through the impact zone. Finally, we're going to go to the putting green where we're going to see one of the best drills we have to allow the putter to work more with the center of our body and eliminate that extra hand movement that everybody sees. We appreciate you guys coming to watch. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Because these hands are getting a little bit high out there on the, as you try to hit it harder and harder, right? We're in a really, really good spot, but the hands as they come down just get away from the body a little bit. You know what I mean? And we've really got to sit here and understand how this right arm is going to stay much closer to the body in transition, right? And a little bit more under the left arm a little bit longer. So I want to see you getting up here to the top of this great position. And I want to see us now really use our core to pull that right elbow and that right shoulder down towards that golf ball, right? And I want to see this club get laid down a little bit more. Um, I'll give you one more way to feel it here in a second. We can take a lower grip on it go to the top of the swing and as we're coming down we can feel that butt of the club point a little bit more over the golf ball versus where it gets for you right now a little bit more at or inside okay so just show me a couple pump drills where we're really focusing on that right elbow driving down to the inside of that golf ball um, yeah you can do that I think it'll be a good visual for you on the club and where it's pointing yeah up the top Good, and then drive it down, butt of the club over the golf ball. Excellent, hold it, do it again. Don't hit this, have your hands go inside this. Boom, there you go, inside that. It's gonna feel like they're going down into your pocket, down to your right foot. Down, inside of it, yep, there you go, let me see that. Yes, dude, there. Do, you feel, do you feel the core that's required to get that elbow in a little bit better place, right? And again, that's gonna be the key, being able to use that body to really keep that arm in and close to your body versus creating more space in transition. You know what I mean? Same thing. Good, and hand should come down inside this. Boom, yeah, dude. Awesome right there. What does that feel like? Yeah, a little more like kind of right side yeah. bend a little bit. Okay, go ahead, a couple more like that. I want to get a video of that. Mm. Good. Swing through, boom. Good. Go ahead, normal grip. Let's try to hit a couple, just kind of, literally just pump drill like that, right? I'm not asking you to hit a full one. Just get up here, kind of feel it. Feel it, good, and then just turn through it, right? Really, half speed. Pump it, yes. Pump it, yes. Pump it and just pass through. Very nice. Same thing again. Good, pump it. Core. Yeah, dude. Keep the hands close. There you go. Good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Much, much better. See how these look. But this is how, you know, this is how, this is how you got to work at it, right? Is just understanding, all right, great backswing, good. Trying to get the right elbow in a better place in the backswing, much better. From here, the core is really engaged and the right obliques are really flexing, right? Great rehearsal. The hand's getting a little far out there when I say hands close to your body, like we're trying to put those hands in our pocket, you know? But you can see a much better rehearsal of the downswing, much better rehearsal of the downswing there. Just a hair steep, not bad, but way better versus when we were getting here and just pausing. A little bit higher hand, steeper and more across. You know what I mean? Okay. So I love that for you too. Just being able to work it like that and knowing that, all right, you're hitting one golf ball. You're doing good. Hands in close by. Good. 
boom, turn through, right? You could feel that golf ball was struck differently, yeah. more from the inside. It started out a little bit more online, okay? But the key for you, yes, elbow, but also the feeling of this, right? Of getting those hands to be closer to your body as they come in there. Feeling like, boom, the right arm is just right up against the side as you turn through. Yeah, okay. Good. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Hmm. It's okay, do it again for me. Up the top, hold it. Good, feel the right shoulder stay back a little as you drive it down. Boom. There you go, feel that sh the shoulder stay closed a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You know what I mean? And again, that all starts from, you could even see right there when you got up there, you had to uh, re-engage that shoulder, you know? All starts from right there, our ability to do that. How's that baby feeling? Shoulder? Yeah. Hold tight. Yeah. Oh, dude, absolutely right there. Watch where this golf ball starts. Good, one more just like that. That was fantastic. I want to get a video of that again. Mm-hmm. Good, really, really good. Hmm. Boom, there we go. Such a better position there, right? Left arm matching shoulder, lower right elbow. Boom, great rehearsal. Right shoulder staying back more, okay? Because part of what makes your hands go across the golf ball and get steep is when the shoulders are too open at that point. And the first couple rehearsals, right? Let's see if this was the one right before. Not bad, better. As we kept going, we would get to a point where those shoulders would open a little quicker. All right, so watch this pump, pump. Hands are much more below you right here. Watch this one much more on the forearm right there and then inside that golf ball dead straight down the down the line right there yeah you know what i mean really good um let's hit some drives huh or do you have a like a two iron or something you want to hit like what are there any clubs off the tees out there that you hit that are driver. is driver everywhere yeah. perfect okay yeah, I think just normal. You know, here's the thing. You're working on, always on the right arm, being a little bit more set up for success, right? Like you're giving blood. You're definitely working on turning the, the arms to the top of the swing, right? Um, from there, just patience and transition, you know? Good. Turn it up there with your body nice and smooth. Good. Good, feel that right elbow driving down towards that golf ball from the top. Where'd that one go? Great. Yeah, that was like the best swing of the, of the day. Much more together up to the top. Right arm looking so, so much better too. You know, and again, it's probably gonna be a little sore this morning. Really nice. We're gonna have to give it a minute for a sec because we got some carts out there. Um, but again, right there, I think it looks a lot more like what you say a lot of the people that play with you when you're striping say. It looks a lot smoother up there in transition right now, right? And again, that connection, which is what is smooth, for you is coming from your ability to turn your arms up there instead of allow your arms to lift up there. You know what I mean? Um, let's go roll the rock a little bit, okay?
Thanks for watching the video with Brian. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about how the right arm works in the golf swing and some fantastic putting drills that can help you improve today. Please click the link in the description box to get three more videos that are going to help you play your best golf. Thanks for watching. As always, leave any questions or comments down below.